bridge. Uh, victory. Victory, this is the aerial bridge. I see you guys just passed a mile and a half. I'll be out of your way here shortly. Okay, roger that. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon. Hey, you're welcome, Cap. Good afternoon, visitors. The vessel that you see entering through the Duluth Ship Canal is the Barge Maumee and the Tug Victory. The Barge Maumee was built as a steam-powered bulk freighter reserve in 1953 by the Great Lakes Engineering Works of River Rouge, Michigan. She measures 703 feet in length, 70 feet in width, and 36 feet in depth. She has 24 hatches on her deck, which open into five cargo holds located below deck. These cargo holds give her a maximum carrying capacity of 25,500 tons. Above her deck is a 260-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at 5,400 tons per hour. The Tug Victory was built in 1981 by McDermott Shipyard Incorporated of Morgan City, Louisiana. She measures 140 feet in length, 43 feet in width, and 18 feet in depth. She's powered by two 4,000 horsepower, six-cylinder Mack diesel engines, which give her a top speed of 14 knots or about 16 miles an hour. The Victory and Maumee have a combined length of 749 feet. Both are owned and operated by the Grand River Navigation Company of Traverse City, Michigan, a subsidiary of Grand Logistics of Jersey City, New Jersey. The Victory and Maumee are in the Twin Ports today to pick up a load of iron ore pellets at the Canadian National Dock in West Duluth. Once again, this vessel is the barge Maumee and Tug Victory. Built in 1953, the Maumee and Victory is built in 1981. <laughs> Thank you. 